Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the official Call of Duty game coming 2014, the 4th of November. We've got the trailer for you guys. We're going to be breaking all of it down for you after we've taken a look. Smash that like button if you like what you see. There's a lot of cool stuff and let's jump straight into it. Democracy? Democracy. Democracy is not what these people need. Hell, it's not even what they want. America's been trying to install democracies in nations for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. These countries don't have the most basic building blocks to support a democracy. Little things like we ought to be tolerant of those who disagree with us. We ought to be tolerant of those who worship a different god than us. That a journalist ought to be able to disagree with the president. And you think that you can just march into these countries based on some fundamentalist religious principles, drop a few bombs, topple a dictator and start a democracy? rules protection from invaders and from themselves people need a leader who can give them both the support and the constraints to keep chaos at bay you give them that and they'll follow and that's where I come in So there we go guys, we have just seen our very first look at Call of Duty Advanced Warfare that will be launching on the 4th of November. I'm going to be breaking absolutely everything down for you guys, this is going to be a long in-depth video so hopefully you guys really enjoy it and let me know what you guys are thinking of the game so far in the comment section down below. For all of you guys wondering why this trailer is out already, it was supposed to be coming out this Sunday, um, we were supposed to have lots of sort of build up and hype but unfortunately um, the trailer was actually leaked from some news website and as a result the Call of Duty decided to actually push the trailer out early so everybody could take a look at it. So our first image here uh, is actually of one of the main characters with his exoskeleton suit on. For those of you guys that didn't see my video yesterday, talking about the very first pieces of information we got about the game, it'll be linked down below, but we talked about exoskeleton suits and how it would actually help the character and you'll notice on the back there have a little A symbol, you're going to be seeing that a lot, it actually stands for Atlas and I believe those are the guys that actually are making all this futuristic uh, technology for the characters and this is basically setting the sort of um, setting how everybody's going to be uh, actually wearing all of this tech and how everybody's going to have a lot of advanced, get it, advanced warfare, advanced weaponry going on. So we're going to continue here and uh, we're going to be taking a look at absolutely everything else as well, making sure you guys aren't missing out on anything at all. So kind of sucks that the trailer's been pushed out a little bit early because it means there isn't any more hype and any more teasing. We're jumping straight into it, but at the same time, we get to have a look at the game straight off the bat. Now right here, we get to see some of the main protagonists walking past actually a bard off area and it gives us a really good idea in terms of what's going to be happening within the campaign. It is worth noting that this is a single player sort of teaser. We don't know anything yet about uh, multiplayer. It can give us hints about multiplayer but nothing confirmed. So we actually see to the right there an unauthorized area uh, where only certain people can go. Uh, we can see what looks just to be standard pedestrians, standard people to the right, but clearly barred off. They don't really seem to be phased by it at all. Um, what you seem to be getting here when you go and actually look at the rest of the trailer is the fact that there are lots and lots and lots of um, what are called personnel, pers 
personal military uh, combat, uh, basically personal people that have been hired um, to take on um, as sort of missions and the general public are basically just locked in the sort of battle that's going on between uh, these hired military people and uh, this big war that's going on. So as we move on throughout the rest of the trailer, we get to have a cool look at uh, some of the more of the character wearable tech and what they're actually wearing on their arm. We can see the PDAs here. Uh, we saw this quite a lot within Black Ops 2 actually, which was set in the near future. Uh, it's quite cool to see this again. It's got like a nice red glow to it. And we actually get to have a look at this sort of in action as well. Uh, later on in the trailer. For those of you guys who want to stay up to date with all the latest news, I'll be covering everything leading up to the multiplayer reveal, leading up to the full release on November the 4th here on my channel, so make sure you're subscribing. Here we get to see a sort of uh, a double rotored helicopter. This will, this will come up a lot throughout the trailer and also smaller versions of it, so it's worth noting. Here we get to see even more of them again. Um, these are actually very, very big sort of um, rotor helicopters that we'll be seeing and they actually have some cool abilities as well which we'll talk about in a second um, this is definitely set in the near future um, or maybe even a bit further ahead in the future because of all of the tech that we're going to be seeing now here we get to have a look again at some of the wearable tech notice the name atlas this is going to be coming up quite a few times these are clearly the guys that i believe are manufacturing all of this technology uh, pretty much every character you see that is actually fighting with weaponry will be wearing an exoskeleton suit will have some advantage technology on them and um, it's very very interesting and it actually gives them a lot of abilities as well so moving forward we get to see the uh, sort of uh, double rotored helicopter I was talking about and it actually has uh, an, a vanishing invisibility um, which is very very interesting which means one second it's not there one second it's suddenly appearing very interesting very advanced technology indeed we saw similar things to this we saw things appearing and disappearing within Black Ops 2 uh, again it's going to be interesting to see how Sledgehammer Games the guys that are developing this game Advanced Warfare uh, decide to go about actually incorporating all of this advanced technology into the multiplayer when we find out more about that but so far this stuff, stuff looks very cool indeed. Here we get to have a look at the actor Kevin Spacey, who's been playing a very big role within this game. He's basically narrating throughout the whole of this. Um, I believe he's being set up as the main, the main bad guy, the main antagonist. However, he's actually speaking a lot of sense. It sounds like there's a lot of um, just chaos war going on with a lot of battles between these hired personnel military individuals that are just fighting and there's just chaos going on. Kevin Spacey actually brings up a lot of points. He talks about racism. He talks about the fact that people are just being shot down if they talk out of line. Um, and uh, it's, it's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what role he's playing. But I do believe he is actually the main, the main antagonist and the bad person that you're going to be fighting against within this game. As far as we can tell at least. Here we get to see Sledgehammer Games logo. These guys um, are working on this game. Their own Call of Duty game for the very first time. And it's going to be very interesting to see how it pans out. But so far it's looking very interesting indeed. I want to stop here simply for a cinematic shot. It looks very cool indeed. You can see a backpack on his back which is com uh, a common theme as well. Uh, I believe that stores a lot of the technology or at least a lot of the power to actually power the exoskeleton suit um, so something worth noting you're going to be seeing that a lot throughout this trailer as well nice little cool fire explosion there next up we have uh, the main character or one of the main characters that we saw big image for yesterday within my video if you missed that and uh, in the background there, I wanted to point out the fact he's in the sector bio, uh, bio lab which is a data terminal and you can clearly see to his left a load of big rack of computers that are burning down clearly there was some sort of war or some sort of um reason that these guys have been hired to perhaps go and either destroy this terminal with all of the data in it or try and retrieve all of the data clearly there was a lot of information in here that was important wanted to bring that to your attention probably going to be one of the missions that you'll be playing uh, playing as throughout in the actual single player campaign so as we move through here uh, the scene advance his cool very very cool headgear actually falls down and uh, we move on to another scene where two guys both of ex exoskeleton suits come out of the door at the same time he has given him a big backlash, big backhand on the back of his head, and he goes absolutely flying over the edge. He's a goner, unfortunately, but it does reinforce the fact um, that this exoskeleton will actually give you bigger body strength. I talked about this yesterday. 
uh, within my sort of teaser video and it definitely reinforces the fact that this exoskeleton suit is going to really really help the players in terms of their body ability their power and it's going to really mix things up it's going to make things very different indeed because we get to see some of the abilities in terms of wall climbing massive jumping as well later on in the trailer um, and it's worth noting that all of that's available because of their exoskeleton suit next up here we get another look and i just wanted to really point out how actually streamlined and how compact the exoskeleton suit is it isn't this massive constraining thing that's wrapping around the whole of their body it's just basically like another sort of bone that's been added on to give them extra strength and i mentioned this briefly in my video yesterday i'm not sure if this will actually, if this will actually be um, a, the case but uh, if you've got great stability with the exoskeleton suit, um, you arguably, when you're in the middle of a gunfight or holding a weapon, you're, you're breathing, your hands are going to be moving around and shaking a bit. But with that exoskeleton suit, it could arguably keep your hands in place so you can aim really, really accurately. Um, thought it was worth noting, you get a good look at one of the weapons he's using there. No sights in it, just the standard iron sights. Uh, couldn't work out if that's an actual real gun or not. If anybody knows, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below if any of you guys know a lot about weaponry. Another thing worth noting is the fact this fight is actually just happening right Right out in the open, look, there's buses flying by, nice cars flying by, and these guys are just shooting at each other right out in the open as if nothing's happening, as if it's just a standard day, which it seems to be. It seems to be this, um, fighting going on in the streets is just happening um, all the time and the um, people going by in their cars <laughs> I guess they just they just go past this kind of thing every day um, and for those of you guys that didn't miss my video yesterday as I kept on mentioning the personal military um, combatants or personal military people that are basically uh, out for hire that are sort of like rogue mercenary um, fighters um, similar to people from like the navy the seals the army etc but you can actually pay to have them uh, it seems like all these guys have been paid and have been given a load of money and they're all fighting it out to try and battle um, for the user that has basically paid for their for their arms. Now here, I just wanted to stop this, just have a look at the cars, there's a very nice car in the bottom right there, um, it gives us an idea, cars is a good way of actually looking at, at sort of the time period we're in. Um, and I believe this is definitely sort of near future. I wouldn't say it is far future. Um, moving on, we actually get a look at the exoskeleton in action. This guy jumps like a madman. He is probably 10 feet plus off the air. Probably even 15 feet off the air. It's absolutely crazy. It does bring up the question, how is all of this going to translate into multiplayer? And I'm not going to lie, a lot of the stuff you're going to be seeing within a uh, single player campaign will not make it into multiplayer. It is completely up to Sledgehammer Games how they want to take the technology that's available in single player and apply it into multiplayer. I will say that Sled Sledgehammer Games have gone to the previous two... Um, Call of Duty Championships, which is the competitive Call of Duty tournament that happens each year for a million dollars. They have been taking notes. They have been uh, very, very into the competitive scene. And I'm very, very sure that anything that may seem overpowered or stupid within the single player will be limited in use, if not, like, won't appear at all within multiplayer. So I have high confidence in these guys. But it's very cool. We shouldn't just miss out on the fact that this is available within uh, the campaign. It's very, very cool to see these uh, sort of um, futuristic abilities in use with the massive jumping um, and also the strength and the wall climbing that we'll see in a bit as well. Again, looking at Kevin Space, he's got a very cool look at the whole city um, with this sort of like 3D map going on here. I thought that was worth noting just because of how cool it is. Uh, you often see this with the sort of um, the leaders of a city. I can't work out if he's a president maybe. That's maybe, uh, maybe he started off as a good guy, he's turned into the bad guy. I honestly can't quite work out what's going on with him. I think it's going to be interesting. I think he's going to be a very interesting character indeed, but he clearly holds a lot of power clearly has a lot of wealth and uh, I think if he wants something to happen he can make something happen that's for sure now this is where his speech is going on about just killing people that um that don't believe in what the t in the president's saying don't believe in something that's a popular belief like people just being shot because of anything um it was a lot of chaos going on now here this still image is very cool we get a look at one of the new weapons with like a double sight going on there uh, so we've got two sights that are going on and clearly if you look through it it's going to give you a very clear sight it's got the suppressor on the front as well again looking at his ecto uh, skeleton suit if you look at his helmet it's currently up however if we go forwards a few seconds and actually take a look um at the rest of it playing out we can see that he simply shakes his head drops down and as a result both him and the guy behind now have the helmet down notice the front guy has these very cool goggles very very cool goggles i believe these will give him extra abilities in terms of vision probably help him through the fire that's going on behind him so he can see more clearly and help him breathe properly very cool technology going on at the moment i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty damn awesome 
We still got a lot to go, guys. Hopefully, you're still enjoying the video. I wanted to break down absolutely everything and make sure we weren't missing out on anything at all. This is the first time we have seen uh, the game in action. We now know it's called uh, Advanced Warfare. That is definitely the name. We managed to work that out and piece it together yesterday, but it is confirmed now. And I want to make sure you guys aren't missing out on anything at all. Very exciting time. Um, kind of sucks, as I said, that we don't have those few days of build-up where I sort of give you guys information. But this is going to be the very big first piece of information. We're going to be getting, and there is a lot of it. There's a lot more to show you guys, and hopefully you're excited to see the rest of the video as well. And excited for the next few months where I'll be bringing you guys more information as well. So moving on here, we take a look at a big ship that comes flying in, and this is a very nice shot. I am extremely glad that these guys put these shots in the trailer because it gives us the first person perspective of both the weaponry and the scenery, and the weapon's cool. We are basically seeing the exact same weapon, I believe, or a very similar weapon that I described just a second ago that the character's holding. You can see those two sights that sort of link up, and of course will create one sight when you're actually zooming, um, or actually looking down them. Um, and I believe it's going to be like a clear red dot in the middle, and then sort of there could be stuff going on around the side, numbers, information, who knows. But it looks slightly futuristic and very cool indeed. We get to see one of the, for the very awesome... Uh, actually military or at least hired um, uh, big sort of helicopter jet things there. You get to see a few of them uh, in terms of their tank form in the near future in this trailer as well. They look crazy. The technology is definitely, definitely uh, advanced and definitely very cool. Here I wanted to pause this because the guy literally just decided to punch a locked door and it opened up. Um, just again shows you the strength of the ectoskeleton suit and it, it's going to be interesting man. I'm not sure how it's going to translate into multiplayer, but it's going to be interesting. Moving forward, we see some guys um, going off the edge of a building. We get to see some very interesting lights coming from the vehicles here, sort of mapping out the scenery. I think the I think the reason they're sending out these lights is just so that it's so dark. Um, the military combatants on the ground can see exactly what's going on, um, and it's basically a best, better way for them to see everything. We get a look at the PDA on his arm as well as he goes invisible. So that means that the characters can actually go invisible again, guys. Don't think this is instantly going to translate over to multiplayer. Most of the time, if, if, if the guys developing the game think it's overpowered, they know it's overpowered. They're going to work out how things are going to translate into multiplayer or not. This is just a single player video, um, but it is, does indeed show a very clear sort of, maybe not invisible, but sort of translucent, translucent um, ability that can be activated via his PDA on his wrist, which is pretty cool. Um, and there, there you pretty much can't see him. Next up here, we get a very cool look at um, the actual reticule in the center of the screen. Very tiny thing, but something that I'll pick up on um, because this reticule will probably translate over into multiplayer when you're throwing a grenade. And it looks interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Um, again, these little things can always be change leading up to lawns but these guys have a lot of time to develop this game so I assume that little things like that may be locked in already but he's basically throwing some sort of grenade or some sort of new grenade and as he throws it and it actually lands and actually goes off um, you can see it going off there, the red little spark. It does um, do something very, very cool indeed. We get to see one of the weapons again on the right there. It's pretty much the similar weapon, I'd say, if not the same weapon that we saw just a second ago, except it doesn't have a science on it. And then when the grenade goes off, it basically floats in the air and falls down and sends out like these waves of lines that um, basically means that you can see everything in like this very reddish color. And if you move on again uh, and keep on looking throughout the trailer, we can actually see that after it's gone, it keeps all the enemies highlighted. We also get a very cool look at the site here in use. So as I mentioned, it's sort of got like that, that red dot site in the center. Lines on the edge sort of creating this double layered uh, site. So that grenade is insane. It basically just managed to locate all of the enemies that were in the near vicinity. How this translate over to multiplayer, I assume that maybe if it wasn't multiplayer, it'd only flash up for like a second or so. So as soon as you throw it, you've got to interpret where those people are and then take advantage of it. Um, it didn't seem to last for too long. Very, very cool grenade system indeed there. Again, another huge jump. <laughs> a crazy, crazy jump off of um, some sort of building straight onto the top of a bus. You know, just casually jumping onto a bus, um, which is going pretty damn fast as well. These, this ecto, uh, ex exoskeleton suit is pretty insane. And he jumps from the bus to an e enemy vehicle, I I'll assume, and literally just punches his way in. Like, really? He punched his way in, threw him out, and now he's smashing against the pole. That's pretty rough. Next up here, we get to see the San Francisco Bridge, or the Golden Gate Bridge. 
And this has been mentioned a lot actually in teaser information or leaked information uh, and we didn't see anything about it until yesterday. Looks like one of the big battles is going to be happening here. Looks like the, the battle is going to be happening in San Francisco. Gives us a good sort of setting basis for what's going to be going on here, which is very, very cool. Not sure if any of you guys live in San Francisco, California. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be pretty cool. I have never been to San Francisco, never been to the Golden Gate Bridge. I've been to Los Angeles, um, but haven't been there. Maybe I should maybe I should go for a trip there, leading up to the launch and just take a look at the bridge. I think that'd be pretty cool indeed. Here we get the typical sort of Call of Duty action scene going on where people are falling off of bridges. Tends to be the case within the past uh, previous Call of Duty games that people are falling off bridges and uh, bad things is happening. Um, but then moving on with the trailer, we go back to Kevin Spacey here, uh, within his sort of realm of, um, of dominance, uh, with his big sort of overlooking screen. Again, we get a look at one of the main characters. I believe this is definitely one of the main characters. The, uh, the dark skinned fella that we saw early on and saw yesterday. I believe he's a main character and I believe this guy's the second main character because in one of the images that got leaked, uh, a guy with a beanie was in the background of the image, and I believe this is him right here. Again, we're seeing a weapon. The same weapon seems to be coming up, or at least what looks to be a similar weapon seems to be coming up with a science run. Again, we see uh, the huge sort of helicopter a dual rotor in the background, but I believe this to be the second main character within the campaign for you guys, if you're interested in that at all. Uh, as we continue moving on, we're going to be taking a look at something very, very cool indeed. So... You thought the exoskeleton suit was cool. This is even cooler. Got the American flags in the background. We actually have a flag behind that, I've just noticed, but I'm not sure what that is. Could be uh, a, fa uh, a fictional flag, uh, so a flag that isn't real. But taking a look at this suit, this is insane. This is absolutely crazy. This is bigger, better, badder than just an exoskeleton suit. This is like a Titan suit. Funny that Titanfall's released uh, um, uh, recently, and then they've got a Titan-like suit. I'm not sure if Call of Duty made this game with the idea of countering Titanfall, because they knew Titanfall was coming, but things do seem to be very similar. How is this going to work? I'm not sure. I think if it translates into multiplayer, it could easily be some sort of kill streak that you have for a short amount of time, like a bit like a juggernaut suit within Ghost. It's very interesting. I'm not going to lie. It gets me thinking. This is, bit, this is, this is a lot different from just wearing an exo, exoskeleton suit. It's properly, um, properly crazy. And as the trailer continues here, you see a huge minigun just pop out of his arm. Like, what? <laughs> it just pops out of his arm. He starts firing away like a madman. Again, if that becomes some sort of streak, it could easily be translated into multiplayer, but I think actually having um, actually having this suit on constantly may not be a viable option. It looks crazy. It looks crazy, but it doesn't come up a lot within the trailer. This is the first time we've seen it, so clearly it's like a limited sort of um, limited suit that you can't just be wearing all the time. Next up here, we again we get a look at the character I mentioned. A very clear shot there. I believe him to be the second main character, or at least one of the main characters we're going to be playing as within the single player campaign, giving him a clear shot of his face there. Again, we see him helping the civilians, so clearly a good guy. Clearly doesn't want that person to get her another shot of um, the Golden Gate Bridge here of a lot of action going on and out of the back of like a van it looked like just comes out um a pad and then out of these pads just come up these mini dual rotors that just start flo uh, flying around and these guys look to be like automated automated streaks i assume that they will be in multiplayer notice on the left hand side there there are also characters that are on top of the little sort of sign as well a lot of action going on the bridge here they made it very clear that uh, this is where one of the big battle scenes is going to be going down next up we get a, a look at one a, a lot sorry of the characters with their weaponry out we can see more of the guns we can see a brand new site there that looks more typical of like an, a red dot site or a reflex site or something that you'd see within modern day times so that's very interesting as well going back to those sort of dual rotor things we see them again being thrown out by hand um just in a second here it looks as if they're going to be playing uh, a very big part in both the single player and i'd say they'd have like a similar effect um to say something like the uh, as we go on to the uh, more information on the exoskeleton suit i'd say they have a similar effect to say like the little bird you could throw out in Black Ops 2, um, the Hunter Killer Drone, that's the name. I assume it would be similar to that, perhaps. Now, next up here, we get another look at the exoskeleton suit, this time the hand. Now, this was a very prominent part of the image that we had a look at yesterday, and it actually gives him the ability to wall climb. So, if we continue through the video here and actually see it in action, once he activates the pads on his hand, he simply runs up to a wall, 
sort of gives it a few sort of pushes from his feet and then just grab hold just grabs hold of it with his hands literally just starts grabbing hold of it with his hands and allows him to climb this wall now granted this wall looks very very smooth i'm not sure if this is like the right material but um it is a very smooth material indeed so it allows for this kind of thing if this is in multiplayer the ability to literally run up of walls i don't know man if it happens, you are certainly vulnerable, right? You can't have your weapon out. You're very, very vulnerable indeed. Again, we're not sure how this stuff is going to be translated over to multiplayer, but focusing on its actual source now, which is in ca uh, campaign, it looks very cool indeed and allows for very cool ways of traversing around the maps. Next up here, we get a hover bike, not like a jet ski or anything. This is a hover bike, which is cool. We're going to be talking about that more in a second. Next up, we're going to look again at the dual rotor. This time it's being thrown out manually. I'm sort of imagine this, imagining this in multiplayer with your character picking it up out of his back pocket. Well, of course, it couldn't fit in his back pocket, but you know how kill shoots are. They appear, appear out of nowhere and just throwing it into the air. And as a result, it just goes flying up into the air and uh, is then being activated. But the thing that is very important is the fact that these things are easy to deploy. They're self-deploying once they're up in the air. Very, very efficient, very, very interesting indeed. Next up is something very, very important that is worth noting. Uh, you can see here him placing down this very sort of this big tube. And once he's actually placed down this tube, it instantly um, becomes deployable. He then pulls it into two halves, stretches it across, and once he has stretched it across, it becomes this very, very powerful, extremely strong resistant material. I couldn't tell you what the material is. I assume it's some sort of futuristic material, but we can see here it's being shot at clearly. It's taking all the bullets like an absolute machine. Will this be some sort of deployable kill streak within multiplayer? Again, who knows? Reminds me very much of like a... Um, a placeable riot shield, but I think something like this could be very overpowered. It's basically your own personal wall, your own personal head glitch. So I trust these guys, man. We're gonna have to wait until we see multiplayer stuff to, until we start judging stuff that we've seen in multiplayer and how it's gonna work within uh, stuff we've seen in campaign. Sorry, and how it's gonna work within multiplayer. Next up here, we get another long look at Kevin Spacey, that beautiful man's face, <laughs> and uh, we get more sort of like a monologue and more of a talk from him. I want to know so far if you guys are still watching this video, which you should do. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. What you're thinking of so far, this is a very long breakdown video, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything at all for you guys, making sure we were cover covering absolutely everything for you guys. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Advanced Warfare, I love the name, I love the look of the logo, I said this yesterday, it's a very silly thing, but it's very clean, very fresh. Um, it looks as if these guys have really spent time on this game um, and are making sure that everything that they do in their power is going to be as best as possible. These guys have a little bit longer to develop a game than the standard Infinity War and Treyarch, which is worth noting, but about had about three years at least to make this game, and normally you'd only get about 24 months or two years to make this game. Here you can see a load of hectic havoc going on, um, and you can clearly see that a lot of the technology is basically just being bought up. So you can see sometimes the same technology being used against each other simply because two organizations have bought the same piece of technology, which means, you know, it's just up to them how they use it. And I thought this would be a very funny scene to pause at because <laughs> notice how the character isn't in the car. He's got one uh, one arm on the side of the, the vehicle, one arm on the steering wheel. I guess with an exoskeleton suit you can do that because you've got so much strength. You can just be like, hey, I'm going to control the car from the outside. A pretty cl crazy part of the scene, not going to lie. Uh, and then having said that, they actually crash just afterwards. So that's not going to end well. I believe they actually go, yeah, they go off the edge of uh, what looks like probably the bridge or something here and actually land in the water. Perhaps some sort of underwater mission we're going to be seeing here. Next up, again, we get a look at the hover bikes. Uh, look extremely, extremely cool. They look like sort of like mini sort of bugs or something that are flying around. I like it a lot. Um, I think it looks very, very cool. A lot of this, I believe, is going to be set in the sort of suburban area within the cities. Um, of course, with the basis of San Francisco, which I like. I think city warfare is going to be pretty damn cool. I guess we've seen that a lot within previous games, but I don't know. I like the sound of it. I think it's going, I think it's cool so far. We get a look at the hover bike here. 85 miles an hour. This guy's going extremely, extremely fast, my friend. Um, but continuing on. We see the hover bike flying through the city, very, uh, very futuristic or sort of near future modern looking um, city, uh, which is cool. We get a look at one of the massive all terrain vehicles flying through here, the massive tank on the massive gun on the back. This is another beautiful shot. Whoever edited this and put this shot in here, thank you, because we got a very nice shot of a first person look at one of the weaponry in action. In the top left, you can see like big sort of machine guns going off. You again see a teammate jumping. Um, 
over the balcony here. And I believe this leads into an actual uh, shot of everybody on boats, I think I think it leads on to. Uh, we're going to have to have a look here, but I'm, I'm sure there's a boat scene included towards the end of the trailer here. Next up is a tank I was talking about. It's less of a tank and more of like a moving bug again. So like there's animal references coming in, but it looks crazy. It has four uh, sort of wheeled um, arms that can move around. A massive, massive gun on the top. And as we see, it's actually moving in, in action. You can see it's a very fluid, very quick motion. Tanks, if you want to turn around suddenly, not happening. Um, or I guess it can happen, but you have to stay still and sort of start turning. This thing looks absolutely mad. It's got like m mini sort of... Um, uh, uh, off-road wheels or off-road sort of tra tracks on the bottom and here we get a look at a, a uh, actual um, shot on the ocean on the sea with very very cool massive guns on top of the ships I like this I'm glad there's gonna be some some uh, ship warfare going on it could be if you look on the right that the um, actual bridge San Francisco bridge has actually fallen down and then these guys have jumped onto the boats and start continue the warfare there but thought I'd uh, explain that as this insane rocket goes off absolutely crazy yeah it does look like this is happening right next to the uh, actual Golden Gate Bridge, so this is cool. Next up here, we get a shot within the darkness, where one of the guys is running away. Doesn't look too good for him, um, he's probably not in a good situation here. <laughs> this guy just does like a 10 foot jump and just smacks into a bad guy. Imagine being able to do that in multiplayer. Just jumping up like a million miles in the air, just smacking the guys down. This is going to bring us towards the end guys, we're going to be having a look at the logo here, which is absolutely awesome. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, I've been talking non-stop for half an hour. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this nonetheless, if you've done so, give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed because we bring you guys all the latest Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news leading up to its launch this November the 4th. If there's anything extra you saw, anything extra you want to point out, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you missed out any of my recent videos, you can check them out on screen here. I'm going to be updating the description as well. Uh, if new trailers come out or new stuff comes out, then feel free to check out all the links at the top of the description because there's going to be a lot of stuff there. I've been Ali A, let me know what you think of this game. A ton of information. November the 4th is what we're looking for for the release. We're going to have more stuff leading up to that, including multiplayer, and I'll see you guys on the next video.